Ah, yes, yes, it's time to just lie back and relax. Guys, uh, sit back and relax and get ready to watch uh, a great game by a regular guy. I, I should be sitting back and relaxing. I got this freaking stupid little, it's not a cold and it's not a flu or anything, but it's just this <clears throat> phlegmy, I keep coughing, pisses me off. But homicidal P from the Tet 19 clan doesn't care. <clears throat> Shout out to you guys! That's as, that's as loud a shout out as I can do. But I need to probably just lie down after this and uh, just relax today. You guys should relax, you know? Relaxing is good. Relaxation is, um, is underrated. You don't always have to be going. You know, you can just sometimes calm down and just lay back and have a lazy day. Now, of course, I have a, an in at Propor disproportional share of lazy days compared to regular people because I'm a bum and uh, don't really do much. <coughs> well, I, I contribute. I do some things. I, uh, I, uh, I devote myself to your entertainment is what I do. And I, I try. If you guys can derive just a inkling of joy from the shenanigans that you get to uh, observe and listen to on my channel, then that makes me happy. And uh, we're going to enjoy watching the homicidal P playing his, uh, what is this thing? The SU-85i, it's this premium. I, I think it's a premium tech. I'm not even sure. Is it? Is it? Yeah, it's a, anyways, it's a good uh, little TD. And he just missed his uh, shot there. He's, he's, uh, he's kind of sitting at the back relaxing. And uh, you know what, Homicidal P, let, let's get this over with right away. I, I, shout out to you, buddy. Homicidal P is one of my Patreon supporters, and I thank you. And uh, he's just a regular guy. He's just, uh, you know, he's not a Unicom. He's not a, well, maybe he is. I don't know. I haven't checked your stats, Homicidal P. But uh, I, I don't know. I think he's just a regular schmo trying to have fun in this game. And he sent me this replay. And... Uh, Without really, uh, like, so far, you can't tell that he's going to have a great game. They're losing 0-4. He's been kind of hanging back. Uh, he's got the camel net and binox and food. So you kind of see how he likes to run this thing as a sniper uh, from distance. And uh, that's understandable. And he's done nothing but miss his shots and do nothing uh, so far. And he'd rather be relaxing in a hammock like I was. Oh, you got There you go. There you got a shot there. And he's hiding behind the house, trying not to take uh, return fire. Let me just uh, lubricate the vocal cords here with another sip of coffee. Ah. Oh, yeah. I'm looking at the mini-map here, and I can't figure out where the hell his team is. They're all in the southeast corner there. There's just a couple in the city. There's still supposedly ten of them, but where the hell are they? I don't know. They're all, like, clustered at the edges of the map. It just it makes no sense to me. I guess it's because it's low tier. The score is 4-6. Nothing's happened so far other than six of his teammates have somehow blundered into an early death. <laughs> when you guys play this game. Oh, oh, he just, how did he bounce that? I guess it hit his track. Uh, can he feather a shot through there? He's playing very deliberately and slowly. He's got a, a what is that, a P26, whatever that thing is going to flank him on the left there. I see it on the mini-map. Does he see it? He's going to get shot up the ass. There, there it comes. Do you see that? There's a guy behind you. And that guy did not shoot you up the ass because, you know, what the hell does he know? Uh, I guess because this is... No one's shooting him. And what the hell happened there? Did it miss? Did it... Oh, he almost shot his teammate. Blocked by armor. He, he missed his teammate. Bounced the shot. Now he's only hit the track. There's just... There's, there's a tr freaking train in the way. It's, this is very awkward. It's six nine. He's like, what is going on in this game? What now? They're capping. The, his teammate goes in front of him again, because you always want to drive in front of the TDs. 
you know, when you're playing a medium or heavy or whatever, you want to make sure that you drive in between your TDs and the enemies because that's the best place to be. I don't know, I, maybe they teach that at West Point or something. You know, fellas, the best place to put your head is, is in between the barrel of your comrade's gun and the enemy he's aiming at. That's, that's the safe place. Like, what the... You know, I don't understand people, but it's 9-11 and nothing's happened. Everyone's died. It, it's just a clusterfuck. Uh, but let's watch him. He's finally going to get a kill. Well, he's got two kills because I missed the first one because, you know, most of the time I have no fucking clue what's going on because that's what you get on this channel. Especially when I have a scratchy throat and I'm busy sipping coffee instead of watching the game. And I missed something else that happened, I think. And now it's 10-13. And he spotted. And what's this guy doing? Um, you know what he's doing? Not a lot. He's not doing very much. Oh, here comes another guy who's not going to do a lot. Uh, well, now he's... Who knows what he was doing. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's all... It's all weird to me. It's, uh, this one is a weird one. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> but he's got four kills and the game is now... It's just him versus two. Okay, so now what do you do when it's you versus two? And he's got one guy spotted. He's shot him. It's another SU-85. Uh, is it his counterpart? Why am I asking you? I'm doing the commentary. I should know these things. Yes, it is his counterpart. Now, here's a lesson. When you're faced uh, in a situation where you're outnumbered, there is the enemy. He's got much less HP than you. And there you are. You see each other. The best thing to do now is charge him, even if you take some hits, because uh, you've got more HP. Just get rid of him quickly, because what could be happening now uh, is the other guy, the other enemy, could be closing in on you, and then all of a sudden you're faced with a two versus one. So you want to win the one versus one quickly before it becomes a two versus one. But he does not do that. He backs away for some reason. Um, and luckily, luckily, uh, the enemies have no clue that it is two versus one. They have no idea that if they both charged him, they would win. So... His strategy of backing away, although not the best strategy, is resulting in, uh, well, you know, who the fuck cares? Because the enemies are Muppets. So, in this particular case, it doesn't matter. But generally speaking, when you're faced with a 1v or 2v1 or 3v1 or whatever, when you're outnumbered and you have one of the enemies spotted, it's usually a good idea to take him out right away. You know, even if you have to, especially if you have a lot of HP and you, you figure, well, I could take one hit, even... You know, just charge in there and, and take them out without finesse. And then, and then you're dealing with a 1v1 instead of a 2v1. Even more important if it's 3 or 4v1, right? That's, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, this is a bad example. Uh, what you're witnessing here is a bad representation of what I'm saying. Because, let's face it, a lot of people that play this game are uh, clueless Muppets. And, you know, uh, so... Who gives a shit, really, on stress? Sometimes it's all freaking luck, is what I'm saying. But uh, uh, but if you want to do it correctly, you know, do what I said. You understand? You understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. But uh, this is not about uh, uh, Unicom strategies. This is just a regular guy. And he's decided, fuck you, I'm leaving. Because, you know, why not? <laughs> why wouldn't he decide that? Why wouldn't he say, well, I'll go for a drive? I know he's... Right there, in front of me, and I have quadruple his HP, but, you know, fuck you, I'm, I'm driving somewhere else so that I can, when I spot someone else, it'll be a 1v1 again, and I could do it all over again. Or maybe, if I'm unlucky, it'll be a 2v1, and then I'll lose. You know, that's my strategy, and I'm sticking with it. <laughs> because he's homicidal. He's a homicidal P. He's not a perpetual clinging to life P. He's a, ho he's, you know... It's all about the homicidalness of this. I'm not making any more sense. Let me <clears throat> let me just uh, do a little bit more lubricating. Uh, do you guys understand what I'm saying? Like all this driving around now is is just a fucking waste of time because what's going to happen? Well, he's going to drive around all game and never encounter anyone. Then it's a draw. That's one possibility. Second possibility is he encounters one enemy and then it's one v one, just like it was before. And the third possibility is uh, he encounters both of them, and it's 2v1, and he loses. So, you know, he's, but what happens? He's encountered two of them. Now it's a 2v1. 
Uh oh! He, you see him? They're both there! And. <laughs> so you didn't want to do the 1v1. Okay, now do a 2v1. But the enemy shoots the house because he's a Muppet. And even though there's two of them, they are cowering like the cowards they are. <laughs> and he shoots the house because what the fuck is even going on in this game? Oh, he's got one! <laughs> and now, now he can shoot the, <laughs> the last guy who's sitting sideways. <laughs> because, you know, what? who cares what I was saying? It makes no sense. Strategy? Fuck strategy! You know? Uh, I'm gonna go relax. Relaxing. Time to relax. I've had enough of this shit. Uh, but hey! Homicidal P? Shout out to you, buddy. Um, did we even look at the post-game stats? Uh, no, because I looked for him on uh, WTReplays.com and I think he deleted the game. So, you know, we don't get to see him. But uh, hey, thanks for the support on Patreon, buddy. And, uh, Next time you find yourself in a 1v2, you know, like, go for it. Stop fucking around. <laughs>